Let's look at how we can tackle question number four. Now this question is focused on the Edexel anthology passage and in this case it's Emma Levine's passage, okay? So the question asks, how does the writer Emma Levine use language and structure to show the excitement of the race? You should support your answer with close reference to the extract, including brief quotations. And this question, of course, is worth 12 marks. So as I keep on mentioning, for all questions, always highlight the keywords. So of course, here, you're thinking about it's Emma Levine's passage from the anthology. You're also being asked to look at language and make a structure point. And the other element is how exciting the race is conveyed as. And of course, you want to always support this with quotes from the text, okay? So let's have a look at how we can answer this. Now, I would suggest for a 12 marker, dive straight into the question. Do not spend too much time with introduction conclusion. In fact, I would say that is not necessary for a 12 marker. Introduction conclusion, you reserve that just for question number five. So let's look at my first point. Levine shows the excitement of the race as she uses the pace of the story to show how the excitement increases as the race's intensity heightens in the extract. Levine shows excitement of the race through the idea of time because at the beginning of the extract the time is slow as the waited for eternity and the hyperbole eternity reveals that it seemed like time had slowed to a halt. However, there's an acceleration of time when the spectators shout, coming, coming. The repetition of coming contrasts the hyperbole when they waited for an eternity as suddenly everything accelerated quickly as the race began. This adds to the excitement of the race which reflects the increase in the writer's sense of anticipation at seeing the racing Kibler donkeys. Now here, from the opening of my answer, I've mentioned the keyword excitement, the race, and of course I've talked about how it increases and heightens. Then I've actually mentioned and mixed in a language and a structure point. So my language point is eternity, which is hyperbole over exaggeration. But also I've mentioned that this is put at the beginning. Remember structure is how does the passage begin? The middle, you can point out middle, that's a structure point. Make sure you, you clearly state it's the middle of the passage and of course ending, okay? I've then also made another structure point. Structure can also include things like repetition, interesting punctuation so here repetition of the word coming to show this excitement and of course i've closed my first paragraph with illustrating how this adds to the general excitement of witnessing the kibler donkey race so let's look at my next point furthermore there's a build-up of imagery which adds to the overall excitement that the writer feels as there is a vivid description of the flurry of movement and chaos that accompanies the donkeys Levine describes the cards using onomatopoeia as the horns tooting, bells ringing and rattles sounded. This onomatopoeia shows a sudden contrast in sounds because whilst the opening of the extract conveyed silence and boredom, there is suddenly a large amount of noise from approaching vehicles. This illustrates how exciting and sudden the race is, reflecting the unexpected frenzied activities that accompanied the race. The verbs tooting and rattles reflect the animalistic features which connotes a sense of danger in this traditional race. This further increases the intensity of the event which Levine is witnessing and it creates the idea of chaos as well as excitement. This further illustrates an interest and excites the reader as it makes us intrigued to see how the race will evolve. And again here, I've made lots of language point and of course I've kept on mentioning keywords, excitement of the race, okay? So I've mentioned how exciting it is. I've used language point here, so onomatopoeia and I've illustrated it with my evidence. I've then talked about just how there's a lot of frenzied activity through the verbs tooting, that's another language point. And then essentially this whole paragraph, to be honest, is a language point paragraph, okay? And I've supported it and linked it back to the question consistently in terms of how exciting the race is shown to be by Emma Levine. Now let's look at my final point. Levine further shows excitement of the race through a driver, Yacoub, whose thrill is captured as he loved it. And this is structurally illustrated in the middle of the passage when the pace and tempo of the text increases. Moreover, Yacoub had his hand permanently on the horn and his language growing more colourful. This humorous depiction of Yacoub, as well as the car racing structurally, contrasts the silence in the opening of the passage. It suggests to the reader that Yacoub is starting to enjoy the race as the increase in noises, as well as the bustle of activity inspires him to drive more swiftly, conveying to readers just how exciting the race was for the writer. So my final point is to do with how exciting the race is, especially from the perspective of her driver Yacoub. And I've made a structure point because I've even mentioned specifically here the structural element. This is towards the middle of the passage. Yacoub is really, really 
um, excited, he's uh, swearing. So colorful language is, uh, it means that his language, he's swearing more and more. He's very, very excited. And of course this bustle of activity illustrates just how exciting the race is, okay? So that's really it when it comes to this 12 mark question and how to approach writing about Emma Levine's extract and her passage from the anthology.